Welcome back to Monster Crew, guys. We have something very special today. We got a 1990 Corolla Toyota. This thing probably cost me about around $200. We're gonna make a non uh, non $200 car. And we already stripped it down. We got the door jams painted already before we got the video started. So what we're gonna do, paint the rest of the car and turn it into a non $200 car. All right, so um, we already painted the door jams here. We um, tore everything out of the car, the back seats, the trim, even the inside of the doors itself. So nothing could be seen as the regular car. The, the original color for this car was a burgundy red. We took this to the extreme. We went to the Orsalands and bought a tractor red paint. So we're turning this bad boy into a non two hundred dollar car. You can definitely see it's a pretty good, pretty good paint, pretty red. After when we get done with this, it's gonna look pretty dope. Um, we took the hood off. We already painted inside the hood. I'm not gonna open that just yet. Um, you come around to this side over here. We're gonna paint the um, inner gas cap thing. What do you guys call that? Um, we already got the trunk on. It was pretty simple painting all that. Um, we're gonna go ahead and paint the trunk, the body today, the whole everything today. Let's see what we else we got here. We cleaned out the trunk. Alrighty. And almost one more thing. We actually bundled fiberglass's door. Now, who, who's gonna say? Let me turn this around real quick. Show you guys. Bonded glass this door already. You guys can see that there. Hope you guys can see. Had a little rot down there in the bottom. We cut it out, re welded in some new planing, and kitty littered the bottom, getting ready to smooth it out. Now, who has the guts to take a, a junky ass $200 car and spend more money on it, make a non $200 car? Well, we are risking that for you guys. You take those. getting there still got a lot to do we've got some fine tune to, to fine tune the doors here but uh, we're getting some of the hard body panels back on looks like we're getting it cleaned up here now we got to get the hood all together you raise it up no over there mate Right there. Oh man, had a lot of rot there. So get some die grinders and stuff on it. We'll clean all this up. Clean her up, make her look good. Get to going. Time lapse, baby.
we got the door all prepped, kind of ready for the inside jam work. We're going to get right to painting, finish up this jam work, hopefully get it on the car, and get ready for the body prep to get the car painted for the $200 to a non $200 fix. man we're trying to finish up some of the uh final jamming work on the 1999 corolla uh we just about got everything taped off everything painted finished doing all the jams we got the door back there that's finally left we get that finished up we got one more coat on it and then we can start finishing up all the hard shell parts and then we're on to the body parts So painting up on the jams there. You guys can see that. The hood is looking pretty good. We did add a little mixture in our gun. We touched up some um, other little bit door jams right there. Get a close on that. It's looking pretty good. He's um, painting on the trunk now. Just doing some touch up. Touch up. And this is the um, door. This was the worst door that was. And again, this with this paint that we're putting on here is a Massey Fergan Massener Red, right from Orsland's. Um, there's nothing special about this paint. We did add this Van Sickle type paint. It's uh, industrial equipment red, so hopefully this stuff holds up pretty good. And we added a little bit of hardener in it to cure it up. In the final paint of the car, we are going to put a clear coat on this car and add a little bit of pearl to give this car a little bit of All right, we uh, finished up all this glass work, as you can see. Get, maybe get his camera just right. We finished up a lot of the little thin coats. Now we're going to let this stuff set in and uh, we're gonna take a smoke break or a vape break and take a lunch let this stuff cure up really well we got one little tiny spot in the back that we have to do some finished welding on um, and then we're ready for glassing it and then we're ready to sand down the car and throw on the tractor paint alrighty we just got back from the Mickey D's and um we're about to go, he's going to work on this thing. I don't know what this thing's called, the miller. The welder. The welder. Gotta get this thing all... broke yet. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do the sanding block yet, but definitely found it. So, um, yeah, I don't know if we should go on time lapse or what's going on. So, I guess probably go on time lapse on the bondling part. Bondoing. <laughs> it down to pure metal you're gonna to have to put something back on it most people prefer putting primer on it or etching primer or some metal prep all that stuff remember this is the $200 car into the non $200 car just some basic paint we're gonna spray on here and then we're gonna resand that paint now there is the body panels are going to go back on here so they won't be as noticeable so we need to put some coating in here to uh, give it a little fill and get it right off that metal so you kind of do hit all these bad spots I touch them up with paint, gets off the, uh, gets it off the metal. I go over the primer areas, 
because that primer will soak up tremendous amount and I just soak them down with black paint now black paint will show up these ridges and you can see that so that just make a nasty looking paint job and that's a way to tell if your paints looking good get you some paint spray it on there real quick see how your body line looks sand it back off keep doing it till your body line comes straight now again this is not no special paint job this is a tractor paint which is a pretty thick paint and it does a lot of filling but it doesn't fix that that just looks like crap the black really makes it pop and uh, you can see what's going on with the, with the bottom line stuff here a little bit come up here take the paint. just see what our body line looks like you can see how bad that is definitely gonna need a lot more work Yeah, you did here. I can see a big gouge. See all those scratches in there? Oh yeah, see all that? All that's gotta go. Don't. She'll show up horrible. That sound like that, boy. Keep working on these areas. Re-glass re them. you get done that thing should be glassy smooth I might be on this couple days to just straighten up the body and get the body all straightened up and then we'll be ready for the paint I'd probably maybe Monday Tuesday we'll see how it goes but uh, lots of work it's like you don't have to re-glass some areas Right, welcome back to another day of Monstar Crew and uh, Corporation of FX Tech giving those thanks for using the facility. We're working on the 1999 Corolla again, making it the $200 car into the non $200 car. That's right, turned into a non $200 car. Okay, what we're going to do today is finish prepping the body. We still got a lot of little steel work that we got to do on the body panels, get a lot of the glue off, and some bondo work. And get it primed up and get it ready for the good old paint. So I'm gonna take the die tool, get all the blemishes out, so we can put the bondo on it. And like I said, ready for paint. And he's welding back in the back wheels there, making the bumper fit together. For right now. Yeah, got a lot of little work to do today. Not not too much. Just a little knickknacks in here, and we should be ready for paint by tomorrow. What do you think? It's gonna be a $200 car. Or a non two hundred dollar car. I think it'd be about non two hundred dollar car. Non two hundred dollar car. Yep. sudden I don't think I've ever blown up an air compressor but yep this is the first here we go yeah yeah man I think she blew up quite well Let's see if we can trip the breaker okay and action oh yeah man she's getting hot yeah, let's just let her cool down for a minute, guys. And, um, it was throwing rods and sparks. Yeah, it might, might still have some life in it, but let it cool down. Let her cool. The old trusty Harbor Freight. Piece of shit. 
All right, now that the uh, body's coming along, we're getting a lot of spots prepped and cleaned out, getting the decay out, putting in some new metal. Uh, we need to finish hanging this door, and then we're going to go to lunch and come back and start glassing in all the bad spots and sanding it down, and hopefully we'll have it ready for paint. <laughs> got a little bit more door prep we got to do got to get this off the door handles out and uh, finish doing that body work like I said but all the doors are in everything's jammed she's getting close we're taking that $200 mod into a non $200 mod that's the idea